Shalom, shalom. God bless you. I'm Prophetess TNT. You're watching Supernatural Lifeline Revelations. We are returning. We had a dynamic segment. If you missed it, go back and watch part one with Dr. Ben Lim and myself. We've been talking about where this economy is at, where God is taking us, what the Spirit of God is saying to the church, and also what is happening with the gathering of God restoring souls. A huge harvest of souls. Churches may not be filled in the building at this very moment, but they're being filled. People are seeking out truth and they're coming to a person near you and you just might be that person they're coming to so stay tuned and listen we were just talking about um prophet uh, this amazing uh will of god which is, is just, he's always been the same. And yesterday, today, and forever. And I was saying that he's raised up, he rose up Cyrus, of course, in Isaiah 45. He rose up someone like, like Constantine, and who made all of a sudden, uh, in year 13, you know, 313, who in the 300th century can come and take over a whole world with a, with, with a uh, religion called Christianity? It was not possible at that time for something to take over, but God used a man, and he used a man in a political position who then then began to erase what was done by Diocletes, what was done by Nero, the oppression of the church. He began to raise them up. Uh, he created, and then the Crusaders, they started putting the Christianity on, their, on their, their shields, on their, and they were operating in the power of God. But God used this man, and he came to him by a vision, and he wanted to liberate the church. He began to give funding back. He began to give houses back. He got restoration to the church where they were being persecuted at their worst persecution ever. And so he's done this before, but people don't seem to recognize and don't know their history or they don't study to know their sh show themselves approved. So you see someone like a Nebuchadnezzar who God positions a Daniel and a Shadrach and a Meshach and a Abednego close so that this man can begin to know uh, who God is and proclaim that Daniel's God, who co he continuously serves, is God. <laughs> and we are to say nothing against this God. So we're seeing this during this time where Christians are raising up, they're getting dreams and visions, and they're knowing what God's will is during this time and it's going against the agenda of Satan. It's going against against the thing that's the norm where they're trying to silence the church. We will not be silenced that we will walk in the power of God. We will move in the power of God. We will dream. We will prophesy. We will have visions. We will demonstrate the power of God and God will begin to save a huge harvest of souls during this time in this season. What do you say concerning these things and where do you see uh, people you know the, the church and uh, shifting during this time, stock markets as well as other things such as economy and the wealth which is being laid up for the righteous. You know, the, uh, absolutely. The wealth is being laid up for the righteous. And uh, I remember even about three, four months ago, I read an article uh, that said that the largest wealth transference in world history is happening right now. Mm. The greatest wealth transfers. And I want to tell you that God's about to give you houses. God's about to give you property. God's about to give you offices. Listen, yes. uh, it's very clear. You will have vineyards that you did not plant. Come on. You will have houses that you did not build. Yes. You will gain land that you did not come into. God is about to give you possession and occupy so that you will leave a generational inheritance and legacy for the days to come. So Ooh. in this season, he's actually shut down NFL, shut down NBA, come on. shut down all these the worldly movies. things, the movies. You can't go to the club. Exactly. You know what? Because he's exposing and he's shaking things right now. Do you know that uh, there's been about 500 CEOs yes. of some of the largest world corporations mm -hmm. that have just dropped down? Yes. And is that a question or not? Do we need to look into this or not? Do you know why? Because there's a shift and a sift. But at the same time, a lot of these CEOs, like Bill Gates, listen, he just shifted down from Microsoft. He just shifted down uh, just recently. And he already knew all these people. These elitists, they already knew what was going to take place. But God has an upper hand, and he's exposing, and he's shutting things down. Every Antichrist agenda is being shut down. So in this, in this season, behind the scenes, God's working out great. And I want to tell you that all voter fraud is being exposed. Mm -hmm. Voter fraud, corruption. It doesn't mean that it only happened in this election. No, it's happened in elections probably for about the last 30, 40 years. Yeah. So all voter fraud, corruption is being exposed right now. And God's dealing with it because God is not done with the United States of America. In fact, he hasn't even started with America. <laughs> Woman of God, the Lord spoke to me yes. uh, at the beginning of this year because like many people, 
I, I wanted to try to play a silver lining or maybe, you know, be a peacekeeper rather than a peacemaker. Right. So, uh, you know, I, I wasn't as blunt, as bold for President Trump and for these types of issues and things right. on social media, etc. I wanted to try to play more of the cooler line. But the Lord spoke to me, said, son, you need to start speaking out loud, be yes. even more bold, because I'm fighting for this man and this man is fighting for you and for the church. Yes. And you need to back him up. And you need to get in line in the spirit. And as you do, the bold are as righteous as lions. Yes. And those who are in shame, the wicked, flee as if nobody's chasing them. Yes. So it's time for lions, not sheep. It's time for lions, not chihuahuas. It's time for real warriors, shepherds, Absolutely. to rise up in this time and season. So the Lord spoke that to me. Yes. Because we need to be even more bold, even more vocal, more resilient. But this is a time and season. Where God is releasing wealth, yes. ministries, yes. inheritances. Some churches are never going to open again. I believe Churches that, that bow down. I, I'm telling you. Listen, these governmental Antifa type of agendas, these churches that supported them, all right, they're not going to open again. There's so much happening right now. It's so unfortunate. But God is answering prayers. This is a season and a year where God is answering prayers. And like I said, God is not done with the United States of America yet. This current election is either an accelerator for the purposes of God, or if the wrong person, the Antichrist spirit, is elected and selected, which is not going to happen. Uh, but when he, it's not even going to be a prediction, uh, Instagram or Facebook. It's not even a predicted president-elect, okay? But uh, it's this election is, is determining the next 10 to 20 years mm. of the United States future. Yes. This election, mm -hmm. it's going to accelerate the plans and the purpose of God, not decelerate. Mm -hmm. You see that? Because Obamacare, all these things, Biden care, Biden uh, wants to raise your taxes. Even 50 cents says, I don't want to be 20 cents because, you know, he doesn't agree <laughs> with Biden's tax plans. And so, again, we need to understand God has placed a financial king, a businessman, a CEO in the office of the United States to build up the economy. And I want to tell you, we're about to see the stocks rise. We're about to see the stock market rise. We're about to see the economy of the United States rise and booming. And do you know why? Because he who blesses Israel will himself be blessed. He who curses Israel will be cursed. And this man, the United States currently backs up and is in covenant with Israel right now, God's chosen people. So don't tell me that that Jewish Hebraic blessing is not going to come upon his people. It that's is. That's and that's true. why the enemy hates President Trump and hates America right now because God's exposing all their plans, all the corruption. People are about to go to jail. Hillary Clinton, Biden, his son, all these people are about to go to jail. I'm telling you. And there's a shift that's happening because the wealth of the wicked has been given over back to the righteous. So it's raining. Someone say it's raining. It's not raining Rain. men, but it's raining manna. And God's about to rain manna, fresh manna, fresh word. For those people that have been persecuted, accused, slandered, gone through struggles, God's about to bless you publicly in this season. And I want to prophesy, mm. as we are about to enter into 2021, 21 stands for triple seven, triple perfection, triple Holiness, triple completion. God is bringing you into triple gold. Gold, gold, gold. God's about to bring you into 777. Seven, seven. Yes, yes, jackpot, yes. jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. Yes. It's time to plunder the Egyptians. It's time for you to re be released from Egypt with a sevenfold blessing, with a recompense, with a retribution. Listen, when the devil is caught with his hand in a cookie jar, he has to pay back. The offender has to pay back sevenfold. And yes. God is about to release a 777 blessing yes. in this 2021 year. And the saints of God say amen. It's time to receive. It's time to receive. Amen. Amen. During this time, I was really noticing that there's been a shifting, like you were saying, with um, the wealth transfer for businesses. The mom and pops all of a sudden Amen. became very famous. Uh, they, they were need. They had a need. And then their businesses began to boom. And many true followers of Jesus Christ have said this has been the most uh, economical, uh, blessed season of their life. Uh, even Come for on. churches, I mean, we were literally, I think last week you spoke, uh, you spoke a word, well, you did on Sunday, was it? It was just a Sunday. How was it? Five days in? Yeah. So get this. Uh, my Bible study literally doubled 
wow. be between last yeah. week to this week. Wow. And I was just like, I looked on, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> I was like, I receive. God is moving quickly. Yeah. And the Lord said, once it leaves the, the mouth of the man of God, it is in the earth. My angels begin to work. And so it says that in Hebrews 1, in the 14th, uh, 15th chapter, it talks about the angels of God. Do, uh, they are what? Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to help those who shall inherit salvation? We're going to begin Come to on. have angelic help. Yeah. And you're going to be able to know you've always had it, but you have been operating and moving with the angels. The angels are moving and bringing God's work and his purpose to pass quickly. And that includes finances. That means yeah. includes wealth and buildings. And I've known that buildings are coming because a lot of buildings are being abandoned during this right. time. And then all of a sudden, they're pennies on a the dollar. They're, you can get in. There's lots of opportunities now that we're not there anymore. And we're seeing open doors that are happening, and happening during this time. And people desiring to know Jesus. They want to know a, the real, true, living God who speaks and, and knows them by name and has purpose, and, and, and he's visiting them. And so it's been a great, a great time of an outpouring of his spirit upon all men. And it, like you said, the sons and the daughters, that they shall prophesy yeah. that you will have dreams and you will have visions during this time, and you will have the boldness of Jesus Christ, and the boldness of a lion shall come upon you, and you should do great and mighty exploits. Uh, literally, I'm looking forward to seeing God move in this manner like you just saw in your last crusade I know you guys have really your whole team was working diligently to see souls saved healed delivered in California and um, how was that tell me about your seven days that you guys oh, experienced. Oh powerful absolutely you know this is a time where God's highlighting the United States not the divided states but the United States mm -hmm. of America. And uh, this is a time where the blood of our forefathers and the martyrs in this country are actually crying out. You know, this year, 2020, it was the 400th year anniversary of slavery coming into the United States. 400th year anniversary. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? 40 in Hebrew stands for the end of a generation. The end. Mm -hmm. God is saying, no longer will you wander in the wilderness of slavery for hey. another 400 years. Yes. That season's over. over. And now God is releasing the sons and daughters of God into the promised land. Yes. So this is a season where God is breaking off. He's delivering. He is the mighty deliverer. God is breaking off any soulish ties, any carnal ties, any systematic ties. Listen, you don't need to be stuck on welfare. Okay, you need Absolutely. to be stuck on the kingdom of God. Yes. And, and so this is a season where God is anointing businessmen and women. God's anointing leaders to be like the ox anointing. Because this is a season of the heads. God's raising up new heads. Mantles are being passed down. Dr. Morris Cirillo yes. just went home to be with the Lord about four or five months ago. Lots of mantles. One of the greatest healing evangelists of our time. Doc, uh, Dr. Billy Graham went home yes. to be with the Lord. Yes. Oral Roberts went home to be with the Lord. And of course, Pastor Benny just moved out. And so mantles, Reinhard Bonnke just went home to be with the Lord. Mantles are being released in this season. And that's why God has to shift and sift. Even some churches and ministries, they're not going to open again. They're not. They're not. Because they've sided with the evil one. They've sided with compromise, with the man-pleasing spirit, and with the wrong side of politics. So therefore, God's about to shut them down because they spoke against against God's people, and they did not defend God's word. So things are getting shut down, but there's also new startups. Yes. There's new birthings. There's a renaissance movement, which means to be born again in France. In French, there's a renaissance movement that's happening with cultural creativity, with a, a genuine uh, anointing to create businesses, to create systems of wealth, to create uh, businesses, new revenue yes. streams. Uh, listen, the church is no longer going to be the age where we were before. Right. The church will no longer be led by pastors. It will be led by apostles and prophets, which means a real apostolic ox anointing where hard dirt and grounds are broken up and there's a pioneering spirit, and wealth, and harvest, and agriculture is booming. God says, I'm about to boom things in your house. I'm about to yes. boom things in your family. Things are about to boom. The Lord spoke this to me, woman of God. He said, when you side 
with truth and righteousness. The storehouses of heaven will be opened up for you. I want to prophesy open heavens over you. Listen, if the heavens have been closed, it's because there's a curse on your life. And curses come because of sin, because of agreement, because you give legal grounds to the evil one. But God is about to open up the heavens. For God says that I'm about to pour out my reign of abundance. I'm about to pour out my reign of the Holy Spirit upon the United States once again. I am not done. I am not a man that I should lie. But God says, I am far from being done with this nation, with this country. For America is my book. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. God is about to pour out. Listen, on the seventh time, the man of God says, you will see a, a cloud the size of a man's hand. I hear I hear a sound of coming rain. I hear a sound of revival and awakening. Yes. And whenever revival happens, there's a financial revival. Absolutely. Listen, I'm South Korean, not North Korean. I'm South Korean. And 50 years ago, South Korea was one of the poorest nations on earth. Wow. Until the gospel came. And now Korea is one of the most prosperous in the top wow. 20 richest nations on earth. Wow. A small peninsula country sent out the most missionaries on earth. Uh, had one of the largest churches in the world for many years, Dr. Young Cho. Cho. Uh, and so therefore God prospered them. Now, 20 years ago, you didn't see Hyundai, you didn't see Kia. Now what do you, LG, Samsung, now what do you see, Samsung. And listen, God wants to do that with you. Zambia, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, God's doing it. Mexico, yes. God's doing it. Venezuela, Nicaragua, God is doing it right now. Russia, China, God is not the, he's the God of the nations. Yes. He's the God of all the earth and God's about to pour out his Thank spirit you, upon all flesh. Yes. And in this season, we're seeing a move of God. And when God moves, financial glory comes. When God moves, uh, I'm going to say this one more thing. You know, I was just in D.C. two weeks ago. Yeah. And I had an encounter with two angels. Yeah. And one of the angels was actually the angel of treasury. Mm. It was the angel of the treasury department mm. of the United States. Mm -hmm. And I actually saw a huge bank vault opening up. The safe, the vault opened up. And all of a sudden, cash just flew open. And gold coins was flying down, falling down from heaven. And the Lord said to me that this angel of treasury is releasing the wealth of the wicked back to the righteous right now. Oh Listen, the elitists, all right, Nancy Pelosi, Come on. Pelosi that's trying to stop the stimulus check, all these things, God is releasing revenue and income to your bosom, to your family. He's, I'm telling you, checks are going to chase you down. Yes, they Financial shall. increase is yes. going to chase you down. Why? Because... You need to be prosperous and powerful and free to be a funder of the gospel. Funder of the gospel. This is a season where the millionaire anointing is coming. Absolutely. Millionaire in finances Absolutely. and millionaire yes. in souls. Listen, Absolutely. I don't know about you, but we want to see souls get saved. Yes. And God will release financial funds revenues so that you could destroy poverty, you could feed the hungry, so that you could clothe the naked, and so that you could be a funder of the gospel. No longer will you have to beg. No longer will you have to have fundraising campaigns. No, no longer do you need to rely on no donors more. and try to manipulate people to give into no. your project. God says, I will provide. God yes. says, I will take care of the book. God says, when you step up for me and stand up for righteousness, I am your father, and I will release the storehouse of heaven. And that's yes. the favor of God that we're about to see distinguished right now whether you are Daniel and yeah. Shadrach, uh, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego or whether you're like anybody else the Bible says Daniel was 10 times better ten times than better. everybody else Absolutely. God is releasing the 10 times better anointing over you I declare right now, even yes. as you hit the end of January, yes. you're about to experience a 10 times better anointing yes. on your life. You will be 10 times better than any producer, Absolutely. 10 times better than any preacher. Yes. And this is not pride. This has to do with the grace, with the favor, grace. the skill level that you have articulated yourself. 10 times better in real estate, 10 times better in the stock market, 10 times better as a, as a husband, as, as a yes. mother, 10 times better in every area of your life 10 times better God's yes. doing it the anointing is yes. coming strong the glory of God is shaking things mm. listen before there's a great awakening there's a great shaking yeah and God shakes so that he could see the remnant that he can entrust with the greater awakening Absolutely. and the greater glory that's what's happening right now you receive it right now. It's receive happening. it yeah receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive we receive 
literally, I, I was, uh, my church all of a sudden got an opportunity to have the building. Of course, what was amazing is when I first got to the church, I told you we have these, this connection that we've had between people that have come to you during this time. That they, they, were, they were in the place where I was doing a uh, revival and the mountains, and then I look over, and somebody says, oh, come to Vin, over to, to Dr. Vinland's church, and I was like, yes, that's a great place for them to be. I'm loving that, but what, during this time, um, God had sent me to a church a couple years ago. Of course, my, it's right next to my address, so it was, it was 14, uh, uh, it's over at Victory Boulevard, so where you guys are actually holding some services, and I was like, he said, your victory's gonna be here, right? So we left that building with the church with Prophet Lobi, and all of a sudden, he has the opportunity to get this building. In 14 days, our church raised $4 million without one service. Mm. We did it over just asking. Nobody begged. So nobody good. said anything. People came. They gave thousands. People that didn't know him gave millions of dollars. People gave 10000 People emptied their bank accounts. It was so amazing to see. Nobody begged for it. And during that time, I heard the Lord speak to me. At first, I was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll give five. I'll give five. And then the Lord was like, okay, I'll give 10. And I was like, okay, Lord, um, I'll give 10. But as I was giving, he gives seed to the sower Amen. and bread to the eater. So I'm giving out of obedience, but I'm seeing an influx of it coming yeah. to me so I can give. And God said, I'm giving this to you to fund the kingdom. I'm giving this to you so you don't have to do any fundraisers, no GoFundMes. You're going to yeah, buy yeah. the equipment. You're going to get what you need because I'm the one. If I brought you to it, I'm going to bring you through it. If it's my will, it's my bill. I'm going to make sure it's taken care of. So I'm going to fund this thing. Yeah. So God told me, he's like, I want you to go tonight. I said, okay. I was like, oh, I felt my spirit. You're going to give $20,000. I was sitting there. He said, give 25. And I was like, oh, my goodness, God. And do you know, every time I gave, I looked around, and it was given back to me. Mm. I have never seen these Come type on, of so things, good. 12 transfers that I've ever seen where I will be able to help people and help families and, and restore people because some things prayer just is going to do. We're going to be able to give to people and be able to bless people and help them with their businesses and open the doors for them and give them more than just, oh, here, here's a prophetic, here's a word, and here's a word of prophecy. Yeah. No, we are there with you, and you yeah. are getting the same anointing we carry. So I'm sure you're seeing the people that are connected to you, they're carrying your anointing. They're going in the Teshiva favor of God. They're walking in the dunamis power of God. I'm seeing the transfer. When they've come to one Bible study, all of a sudden they're dreaming dreams. God is visiting them. They're having angelic encounters. We are watching where God is literally pouring out his spirit, and people are encountering the God of the Bible. We're watching the New Testament church in this time and in this season and he is healing, he's delivering yeah. limbs are growing back people are learning Come that on. Jesus loves them yeah. and they don't want church they want intimacy yeah. with God and God is concerned about your business he's concerned about yeah. your family your husband and wife, he's concerned about your children and he's concerned about the times and the seasons and there is a great harvest of souls and you guys like, Pro like Prophet Ben Lim, uh, Dr. Ben Lim is saying receive it you have to begin yeah. to say I receive because he's pouring. Yeah. You know, it's so incredible because this is a, a Second Chronicles 20, 20 year, which mm -hmm. Second Chronicles 20, 20 says, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Right. Listen, we're not meant to be non-profit. We're meant to be for profit. <laughs> and uh, and, and <laughs> as I've told so many people, if you're not prospering in life, I wonder what prophet you're listening to. Yes. I wonder what voice you're listening to. Because the voice and the will of God will always prosper, will always cause you to succeed. No matter what, it's the word of God guaranteed or get your money back. It's always guaranteed, 100%. 100%. And, and so this is a year where God is anointing the people of God with fresh grace and with a jubilee anointing yes. where you're going to be debt free. Debt free. No longer are you going to live on rent, but you're going to own. Oh. No longer will you lease. You will lease by choice, yes. not by mandatory uh, obligation, but you will lease by choice. Absolutely. But, but it's not a season for you to rent anymore. It's a season for you to own, own. and to possess, possess and to occupy, occupy and to take position, uh, possession because, you know, God God is changing the mindsets of people where we no longer need to wait for a free handout. No. But we need to give people hand ups. Hand up. And we need to impart. We need to give. The Bible says that a righteous man has an inheritance to his children's children. Yes. So this is a season where people of God are prospering. We're rejoicing. We're gaining revenue. We're gaining uh, territory. We're gaining the fruits of the land. And not only that, but the prophets are about to be honored. honored. I want to tell you right now. Come on. This is a season 
of the prophet's reward. You know, the Lord spoke to me, woman of God, said, yes. you know, Jesus himself says in the Gospels that when you honor a righteous man, yes. you will honor a righteous man's reward. Yes. When you honor a prophet in the name of a prophet, you will receive the prophet's reward. Now, what's a prophet's reward? Everything that he battled, he, she battled in the spirit Come on. to gain. You got Everything that that prophet, prophetess experienced, yes. you will be able to partake of the same reward and inheritance. Yes. So I want to tell you, if you honor the man of God, Reinhard Bonnke, then the 20, 30 million souls that he saw saved, you partake of. That's right. That's your inheritance. Inheritance. Yeah, not just three, 30 million. Yeah, and that's what it means to partake of the prophet's reward. And this is a season where God is going to honor the true prophets of God, man, women of God. Listen, I know you've been slandered, accused, persecuted. Uh, it's gonna get worse, but it's gonna get better. Listen, persecution on Facebook's nothing, okay? <laughs> persecution on YouTube, that's nothing, nothing, okay? Listen, I've been to China, okay? We've baptized uh, uh, house church pastors in communist China. We've been in Pakistan where Christians were burned alive. Yes. We, we've been been in Pakistan where Christian boys were raped by Muslim men just mm. because they're a Christian. We've been in these places where martyrs, I have four friends who have been martyrs in the mission field in the last 11 years of my life. And I believe there's a remnant that God's raising up to say, my life doesn't matter. I'm dead. I've already died a million deaths. Catherine Coleman used to say, I've died a million deaths before I came up on the stage. Before I came here, I've died a million times. Yes! And God is about to release the greatest, the greatest. Uh, enactments, endowments, uh, uh, empowerments of his glory and his anointing in this season to those who have died, to those who have gone through the yes. struggle, hashtag is not real. God is about to impart and entrust people with mantles of these fathers and these mothers in this season. In fact, I, I kept seeing, for ever since we sat down, woman of God, I kept seeing two realms over your head and over my head. One realm over your head, one realm over my head. That's coming together. And God is saying, this is a season of divine collaboration. This is a season where realms are coming together. Shuka, open doors are happening. Things are coming place. And you know, it's like the Olympic circles. The Olympic circles, they're in, in the center, there's, there's a, a realm of unity. And God is saying, I'm about to unite you with people that you've dreamed of. Yes. I'm about to bring you into inner circles of people that you've been praying into. Jesus. Things are about to happen. But there's, there's not a, an evil mixture. But there's going to be a holy mixture. There's going to be a holy mixing, a holy uniting of the things and the gifts of God that's going to take place. Jesus. Not an evil mixture, Ooh. but a God mixture. Someone say amen. A God mixture a that's God about mixture. to happen. Yeah, right now. Because yes. remember, the priests had to mix the oils together. They, did. they had to mix the anointing oils together. Yes. And that's what God's doing. He's, oh, he's bringing it goodness. together right now. So I see that happening. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You have literally been witnessing the power of God move right here. And I know you can feel it through the screen because the Lord is there with you right now, touching you, moving in your life. You got right now a rhema word from heaven. You need to take it and run with it and claim it over your life because it is so, and it shall surely come to pass. I'm thanking Dr. Ben Lim for being here. Please go to his website, follow his ministry. I am Prophetess TNT. We have thrown out this supernatural lifeline revelations. Please tag share and invite, invite someone because your life, your timeline can be somebody else's lifeline. God bless you. We'll see you next time. When they switched it in the heavenlies, God said, now I'm rebuking the devourer for your sake. And God shall give you plenty.